Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a three-pile, pick-a-pile reading. And the question is, how do they feel about me? I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as somebody out there might enjoy them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. We like to radiate with that true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving types with nothing to fear because we are calm and we are cheerful, right? All right. So these are the three piles, okay? Pile one, two, and three. Question is, how do they feel about me? So, you know, think specifically of a person when you're trying to choose the pile of your choice. And um, this will reveal how they feel about you, right? Um, you can even choose two piles, right? I do not suggest three. Choose two. Use your intuition, right? If you need to choose two. Um, otherwise, you can just choose one, right? Okay, so with that being said, if you need more time, by the way, um, you can go ahead and stop the video and try to figure it out. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to start here with pile number one. Pile number one. Okay, so here is pile number one. Let's find out how do they feel about me. Ooh, let's see. So first of all, we have, okay, we have the eagle. And the eagle represents spiritual enlightenment and transcendence. So somebody may feel that you are on some sort of spiritual journey, that you have transcended to another level of spirituality, something like that, right? Also, I do have a mini oracle star. And the letter I have here is the letter I, okay? The word we have is joy. So this person may also feel that you bring joy to their life, right? You make them feel joy. And they're happy when they're around you. Okay? So let's find out what we have here. <clears throat> we have the five of earth. Thought. Sorry, that was a mistake. Don't take reversals here. Okay. This is three of fire. This is the knight of cups. This is uh, the nine of pentacles. The Three of Cups. Whoa, perfectly fit, you guys. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's see what's, uh, what else is here. We got the Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. The Six of Wands or the Tower. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles or the Hierophant, right? Okay, so wow, interesting, right, you guys? <clears throat> well, first we have that Five of Earth right there, and that kind of looks like devil energy, whatever, right? Capricorn, Capricorn energy for sure. And it seems that somebody um, might have left somebody out in the cold or is feeling left out in the cold, right? Somebody is disappointed over a situation, right? And they might be feeling, you know, this kind of loss in regards to you. Um, We do have, um, hmm. this thought card, this is like the moon card, 
It appears here that somebody might be wearing a mask, right? Somebody might be wearing a mask. They're thinking about another individual, but they're not showing it, right? Something's left in the dark. And somebody is trying to illuminate a situation, but they just can't seem to shed any light on it, right, at this present time, right? But somebody is definitely looking uh, and uh, creeping around to try to find some, some information out about another person, right? This person is thinking about somebody constantly. We also have a three of fire. This is like waiting for something, but this also looks like, kind of looks like the fool card, doesn't it? It does to me. I'm kind of feeling like somebody's waiting to leave a situation. They're waiting to leave, like their bags are packed and they're ready. They're just waiting for the perfect time, right? They might think this about you, that you are waiting to leave, that you are wearing a mask, that you're not tr showing your true emotions for another individual, and that you actually left somebody feeling uh, left out in the cold, or, or you feel left out in the cold, and this is why you're not showing your true feelings. You're waiting to leave this situation. Um, we do have the Knight of Cups wanting to come in with... Some kind of emotional, some kind of an emotional words to uh, maybe to you. They want to come and talk to you. You could actually be uh, single, uh, financially stable, that you can take care of yourself, um, independent, self-sufficient, right? They could think of you as this. Also. They want to know, you know, they, they want to work things out with you. But they're not sure, right? They're not sure what to do because they know since you are in this Nine of Pentacles energy that you can just say, no thanks, and then they'll be heartbroken, okay? But they're working up the nerve to come and, and work something out with you because um, <clears throat> they realize... They realize that, you know, life is about risk, right? Now, when it comes to feeling left out in the cold, somebody wanted to bring a message of stability, right? But uh, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So that's why they're feeling, uh, you know, like you dropped them or something. Like you're just like a you're, thanks, but no thanks, right? And they also uh, can't sleep at night. They're worried uh, with about the thoughts of you. They think you might be worrying about them too. All right. But in regards to them, they feel like, oh, terrible. And the reason being is because of this tower moment. You may have, <clears throat> you may have brought something to an end, right? setting you packing you could have been kicked out from this situation from this home somebody is feeling a sense of victory here though maybe a sense of freedom maybe or maybe not we also have um a message of truth coming in and that message is that message of emotion right Seems to be the theme. People wanting to come in and tell the truth. Well, they want to, but are they going to, right? So I do see here that somebody's going to try and come in with the truth. And the truth is, I love you, basically. That's how they feel about you. They're very passionate about you. If you are that single person, they're very passionate about you. And they want to express this to you. And they might be even wanting to, you know, offer you their hand, their hand in marriage. Either that or they're working on a way to try to tell you that uh, you can't go on anymore with them or they with you. So these are, these are the, uh, this is how they feel about you, you know, but they do see you as joyful. They do love you. 
but things have happened, I guess, right? Things have happened in the past that have led up to this situation right here. But their ultimate goal, obviously, is not to leave anybody out in the cold, right? Um, now, there are three choices for an outcome here. The choice is marriage, um, feeling left out in the cold because they refused you, or just leaving it stagnant, not doing anything at all which can be equally detrimental, right? So whatever your situation, I suggest in all situations you keep headed for those goals, right? Don't let those goals, uh, you know, fall too far behind, right? We all got goals. Stick to those. Those are the best. That's the best way to keep this garbage off your mind if there's some sort of a negative energies here, right? If you're not one to want to deal with this sort of drama, mental drama in regards to wearing masks and love and blah, 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 right? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that's what I have for pile number one. So, um, I would like to say thank you for coming by and checking out this reading. Uh, if you guys could like uh, the video, that would be fantastic. That's how it gets out. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Pile number two is next. Okay, so this is for uh, those of you who chose pile number two. And the question once again is, how do they feel about me? How do they feel about me? Well, let's find out. Okay, so first of all, okay, first of all, we have the owl. And the owl represents insight and psychic vision. So they might think that you are like a psychic type of person. Uh, you have a lot of insight, you know. Um, yeah, they might think of you this way as a very, you know, psychic person. <laughs> also, uh, we do have the letter um, R here. That might resonate. The letter R, the teeny tiny tarot stars, right? Oracle stars, they think you, that you are bountiful, right? They think that you are secure, you're bountiful, um, you know, you can take care of yours, kind of like that Nine of Pentacles energy, I guess. I don't know. But they do see that you are self-sufficient and um, you have good, clear vision, psychic insights, maybe psychic vision, whatever, right? Let's find out what we have here, okay? Whoops. These all upside down. Here we go. So uh, we have journey. We have abundance. We have the six of uh, fire. This is the seven of um, wands. The empress. The King of Cups. Okay. Next we have the Six of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The King of uh, Wands. And the King of Swords. Hmm. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> I see here, what I'm feeling here is they think, you know, how they feel about you. They feel like you're on some sort of journey, some sort of uh, personal journey, perhaps, that you are going through some sort of maybe like a spiritual enlightenment type of thing, right? They feel that you are taken care of during this journey, that you are very abundant, right? You may be appearing to be so. They also feel that um, you are having uh, a lot of victories in your journey um, in regards to possibly, you know, healing, becoming grounded, um, just having that security that you need, feeling comfortable, right? 
Um, and abundance, you know, doesn't necessarily mean like you're loaded or anything, but it could mean that you are actually becoming wealthy in regards to the journey, right? Finding yourself, going within, having personal victories, right? So this is something they feel feel about you also. They also feel like um, you've had to possibly defend yourself or deal with a lot of competition in the past. They also feel that you are like empress status, somebody who is you know, a, a nurturer, uh, the bringer of ideas, love, just all kinds of good stuff the Empress represents, right? The epitome of woman. Attributes of all the queens, all packed into one, right? Yes. Now we also have the King of Cups here, and this is the person you might be uh, dealing with. Um, the person might, this King of Cups might feel this way about you, right? Or you might have some sort of feeling for this King of Cups, or you can be the Empress res uh, uh, radiating with the energy of the King of Cups too, right? Very emotional person, but possibly not really sharing their emotions. Yes. Does that sound familiar? I think it does. So you might be the empress, but you are expressing a king of cups energy where it's like you are you are in control of your emotions and you're definitely not going to show them. If you were the queen of cups, though, you would show them more, be a little bit more nurturing. But because of things that have happened to you, dealing possibly with competition and defending yourself, it has turned you to be a little more guarded with your emotions. You know, you don't show your emotion as much as you used to maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So also this person or you might be either moving away, going on a different, like you're, like you're, like, say, for instance, you're a person and you stay a certain place and, okay, your work is done here, you move to the next. It's kind of like that. So they could feel that you are like a traveler, somebody that might move around from place to place, perhaps a healer, right? They do see you as somebody who is a nurturer, somebody like the Queen of Cups, or maybe you were in the past, but... Uh, you know, you might not be opening up or showing emotions because of a past situation, right? So they do look at you possibly as this Queen of Cups energy, which is also the Empress. In this deck, it's the Empress for sure, right? And they think that you are abundant in love, right? This is what they're, they're thinking, that you have an abundance of love. You know, like you are a never-ending supply of love and nurturing and all that, right? So they see you as this type. They also, um, <clears throat> this is also the temperance card alongside with this two of cups, right? Temperance, so this person <clears throat> feels like you are very patient, a very patient person. Um, they know how you feel about them because they, too, uh, have expressed emotion to you. You both have expressed emotions to each other, so you know this person very well. And they know that. They know that you know them very well and that you uh, basically are victorious when it comes to conversations with this person because you always end up being right, even though they don't want to show that. They don't want you to know that, even though you do. But you're very humble about this. Only because, you know, you're not trying to hurt anybody, but you are trying to teach somebody, right? You're, maybe you're um, firm. You're a firm teacher, right? If you are someone who travels and goes around and heals, I think you do it in a very firm manner, right? Because sometimes that's what people need. Sometimes talking all nice and sweet and that shit don't work. Sometimes people need to hear it real, you know, <laughs> like real raw, you know, I'm one of those people, I need to hear it that way, or I might never learn, right, anyways, 
So we have the Nine of Cups here, right? And this person feels that you are fighting to have wish fulfillment. You are defending your stance on this, wanting to have wish fulfillment, right? They think possibly you are looking at a fire sign, right? Or or you could have fire in your chart. They also see you as uh, like the king of swords. Very militant, you know, follow instructions, follow the rules, go step by step. This way is the right way. They feel that you are like that, you know. Now, what I'm catching here is this definitely can be swapped, right? You could be a male or female watching this, even with this empress right here, because a male can be in the empress energy, right? And if this is you, then yeah, you're expressing these king energies, um, But you're being a you're being a little less uh, mm, abrasive or firm as a man would be, right? You're still holding a more calm and nurturing um, outlook on this, right? Even if you're a male, right? Right. Now, we have the King of Swords here. King of Swords, that's the Emperor. So if you are a female watching this and there is your Emperor, you know, swap it. Swap it the way you think, okay? Yeah. I know I don't really have to keep saying that, but I, I kind of think I do. I don't know. But uh, so, yeah, we do have two people here. Now... Could have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Um, could have Aries, Scorpio in your chart. We also have Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, did I say? Okay, yeah, uh, Water Signs, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. These are the signs that I'm seeing here. But uh, they do know that you want wish fulfillment ultimately in the end, and they think possibly that you might have the choice of two, which is either a king of wands or this king of swords energy who actually ends up being the emperor, right? Now, the king of uh, wands here and the king of swords here can be one and the same person, right? And they could uh, both end up being the emperor, but if you're dealing with two separate people, then that's these, these are the two choices. Or if you're dealing one with one, those are the signs in their chart. They could have um, water, fire, and air. Okay? They don't, uh, yeah. I don't see any pentacles, you guys, but that's okay. <laughs> that might come along later, all right? But, uh, yeah, so they feel that this is you. You're on a journey. You're abundant. You have success. Um, you made it to Empress, you know, and you're very loving, and you are a healer moving forward. And you're very patient and loving, and you are looking for wish fulfillment. That's how they feel about you, okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys, don't forget to press like if this resonated. Also, um, that's all I have for you today. question was, how do they feel about me? And uh, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Pile number three is next. Okay, here's pile number three. So the question is, how do they feel about me? Well, let's see. All right, so this is for those of you who chose pile number three. Let's see what we have here. We have the steer skull, okay? Steer skull represents silent testimony, okay? So they feel like you're keeping some secrets. They feel like you're holding back on some sort of information from them, from maybe a lot of people, I don't know. They feel that you're a very encouraging person. You encourage others to do better, right? 
We have the letter D. You could have the letter D in your name, first, middle, last, initial, whatever, anywhere in your name, whatever. But they do feel like you are somebody who is very encouraging to others, right? Perhaps you um, are like a motivator or something like that. You like to motivate people to be better, to always look forward, you know, whatever, right? Let's find out what we have here. We have the crone. Death and Rebirth, Queen of Fire, The Tower, The Four of uh, Rods, The Suit of Knight of Coins, Six of Cups, the Lovers, Five of Swords, mm -hmm. Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Eight of Swords. Justice. I had a pause there because I was thinking about something in regards to this Six of Cups right here, but it didn't really come through all the way. Having to do something with double energy and love. It's fucking strange, dude, you guys. Okay, so Six of Pentacles. Maybe it'll come to me. I'm not quite getting the message. Oh my God, you guys. Jesus. Christ, these fucking cards. There's a devil. There it is. For some reason, because look at how similar these cards are. I was when I put that that six of cups down there. Look at how similar these eyes are. These cards are <laughs> eyes. Look at how one eyes are open, one eyes are closed. One is love. One is addiction. So there could be that they might be addicted to you or you might be addicted to them. There could be some sort of codependency situation here. All right. Um, it does appear, though, that somebody is in is needing to be in that energy of letting go, though. Right. Somebody needs to let go of a situation, finally. And this could be a situation that stems all the way back from childhood. So they could feel that you have been tra uh, tra tra traumatized, right? They feel that you might have been traumatized in childhood and that um, there's a possibility that you're working on trying to let that go or heal from it or something like that, right? Also, they uh, feel that uh, you are having a death and rebirth of a situation, or you might have done this with them, ended a situation with them, and now they are having some sort of death and rebirth situation. Um, I don't know, but I feel that you, uh, they feel that you are going through some sort of transformation, right? And, and you're also, you're not telling anybody about it, though, because it's kind of strange, right? It's kind of new, and you don't really... Under, quite understand it yet, right? Maybe you've had some idea in the past, but you've never really, maybe you thought you were in this sort of energy in the past until you, until you met a certain individual and you're just like, whoa, this is not what I thought it was, right? Because you probably actually have met your soulmate. And so this person but might be your soulmate. How do they feel about you? They feel that you're their soulmate, all right? Um, you could be a fire sign, you could have fire in your chart, very passionate person, but uh, they feel that you are trying to let go, and from this you will have a death and a rebirth um, of your own uh, life experience, right? Um, I also see the tower came in, so there might have been an ending in regards to you, that they think that you have uh, gone through some sort of ending, some tower moment, um, yeah, and it could be that they see that you might have um, gotten a divorce or separated from a certain individual, um, ending to a relationship, right? And uh, 
they they might even uh, feel that you will be coming to them with a message of emotions or they want to do that to you but I'm feeling since uh, how they feel about you is, is they I, I'm thinking they might, might want to come in and give you a message uh, tell you that they love you or something like that or you know but they don't know what to do because of this transformations going on with you you know and plus you know uh, they see that you might have got you know gotten out just gotten out of a relationship and you know and you're I don't think they think you're ready right now for them to approach you, but eventually they would like to do that to you. They would like to um, give you their emotions, but maybe right now it's not the right time. I also see here, yeah, remember, I mean, we have the Six of Cups and the Five of um, Wands, right? It's like a, a codependency sandwich here, right? Yeah. There's some sort of devil energy involved in this situation, right? Somebody loves you, but there's a toxic energy looming, right? And um, there has been some lies, right? This person might be hiding the fact that they're going through, uh, they, they might think that you're hiding the fact that you're going through some sort of death and rebirth. You're lying. You're not telling anybody about it. It's strange to you, right? Um, they think you might be letting the relationship go between you and them. Um, also, um, they do want to talk to you, right? But you're expressing this queen of fire energy, very passionate. They're they're not, they might be taking that passion for anger, right? Anger is passion, you know, and they do want to talk to you, but, uh, you know, you're being very passionate right now, so they're not sure, right? They're not sure if you're going to be screaming, yelling, mad, crazy, whatever, right? They do want victory with you, but right now they're caught up in this on their head because of this ending that has happened, okay? Uh, this ending could actually be with them. You could have uh, had an ending with them, but they see you as somebody who had an ending and wanting victory, right? And that is could be financial gain. They, 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 they see you as somebody wanting victory in a situation in regards to money. So this could be the person that you might uh, be divorcing, right? You, they might see you as somebody going through a transformation, healing from all this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you did love them at one time. They loved you at one time, but uh, there were lies there. They wanted to talk to you, have some justice with you, but they're caught up in their head. Either somebody might have went to jail or somebody won a battle or something like that, right? And uh, and there is a possibility that if somebody did go to jail, yeah, this time when we came down and this person's like, fuck that person. I'm in jail now for what? And so somebody might have done something out of spite and um, gotten money out of a situation by doing that. And that's where that devil energy is looming, Right? This person uh, might have wanted to give their emotions or maybe thought you were going to give their emotions to them, but you didn't. And that's where the devil energy came in, right? So they feel like there's some sort of uh, negativity looming around you or in your environment and causing you to be uh, closed off, devil energy, right? So they could feel that you're closed off. You're going through some sort of transformation over an ending, right, in a marriage. Uh, not able to express uh, your love for another. There were lies, right? Somebody wanting to talk to you about it. And somebody here having victory and possibly another going to jail. Somebody gaining money out of the situation. And it's all for devil energy. So this could be involving alcohol, drugs, or something negative like that, right? Something that takes that can take your money, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that's what I have for pile number three. Interesting piles, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, especially like. That's how these videos get out there so people can check them out, right? Keeping that true love energy around here, right? Happy, friendly, loving. Nothing to fear because we are coming to your fall, right? Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> that's what I have for you guys today for pile three. Thank you for coming today. This is uh, Mona, and you found Kali's Go Freedom's Tarot. Question was... How does he feel about me? Or how does how do they feel about me? Sorry about that. Was how do they feel about me? Uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.